Welcome to Live Interactive English. I'm Hanny. Hello, everybody. I am Shane. So today, for our closed test unit, we're going to talk about French fries. Yeah. Do they make us happy? Yeah. Yes. Are French fries making whoa, whoa, us whoa, whoa, happy? What happened over there? Huh? Hey. What? Did you just eat one of them? No, of course not. You know what? I just went to the fast food restaurant and got them for us. We have to save them for later. I'm not eating them. You, 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 嘴巴都还在咬，可恶。No, I'm just smiling. <laughs> That's us. <ours>. Ah, ah. <laughs> you see, see, see. <laughs> 可恶，居然在教课的时候偷吃东西。So good. Oh my gosh. So okay, so generally, do you like French fries? L O V E. Love. Love French fries. <laughs> They make me extremely happy. And fried foods generally. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. Who doesn't like fried foods? What is wrong with you? <laughs> I think fried foods are unhealthy and they are greasy. Have you ever heard an expression "everything in moderation"?、Uh, yeah. A little bit of fried food is not going to hurt you. Just a little bit. 对吧？吃一点有所节制 ，in moderation 是不错。Right. 偶尔吃一个还不错，但是我现在觉得 they smell so fatty. <laughs> I think that's just. 都给你好了，都送你。You just got a psychological problem. 我是吃的很健康，好吗？什么 psychological problem? What's wrong with you? With my smile, huh? 好了，那给他慢慢吃。我们先来看看 ，Are French fries making us happy? Who doesn't love to eat French fries? The crispy outside and salty flavor make French fries hard to resist. However, new research suggests that this delicious snack may be linked to depression. Researchers found that people who eat lots of fried food are more likely to suffer from negative emotions. In fact, they're 12% more likely to feel anxious and 7% more likely to feel depressed than those who avoid fried snacks. So, are French fries making you happy? They're making us happy, <laughs> all of us except you, because you're weird. <laughs> 哪是啊？吃薯条会让我们开心吗？我是不太喜欢吃炸物，可是偶尔吃一下还是觉得很香，很好吃了。Right, it makes you happy. Yeah. Okay. So why don't we get started? Okay. Who doesn't love to eat French fries? Uh, um, um, uh, um, 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 um. Okay, so the crispy outside and salty flavor make French fries hard to resist.、Mm. <laughs> Just thinking about French fries makes me want to drool. I don't know about. I think just eating one, the mouth is all dry. Yeah, that's that's the problem. <laughs> that's the problem. Okay, so here we got two vocabulary words, and the first one is crispy. Crispy.、Mm. So crispy just means. <laughs> It's weird to say something is food and it's hard and dry, and that's a good thing.、Uh, But in this case, hard and dry is good、uh, in a good sometimes, way. Sometimes, right? When you eat like a a cracker、mm. or a cookie, you want things to be toy toy, though, right? right? You want right, that kind of、right. crispiness, so it's pleasantly hard and dry, hard enough to be broken easily. Yeah, so this can describe it as soft and soft. Although it's soft and soft, but you feel it's soft and soft. Like the opposite of this word would be soggy. Ah, soggy. S O G G Y. This is like we say "lun lun," it will make something soggy, a little soggy, and then soft and soft, and you feel it's not good. Okay, so for example, I love to eat crispy vegetarian fried chicken. Okay, so the teacher is eating meat, so he, you really have eaten vegetarian no, 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 fried course, chicken? Yeah, really. All the time. I had it today. I had vegetarian fried chicken nuggets. Wow, so delicious! But I had them in the air fryer,、oh. not deep fry, just air fry. 
，老师很懂吃、欸，还用气炸锅、炸素鸡块。OK， 好，那我们继续来看下一个单词是 resist。Resist. It's mean, a verb. It's a verb, which means to prevent yourself from doing something that you want to do. Mm. So、sometimes you need to resist eating fried foods. Ah,、uh, or eating chocolate. Oh, yeah. You, it's hard to resist. <laughs> yeah. So this resist is a resistance, a resistance, or a resistance. You can use resist doing something to resist doing something. Some people, like we'll say Sue, Sue can't resist buying something when it's on sale. Ah, okay. Right, like you. 有特价的时候，你就忍不住好想买哦。<laughs> right, okay. So continuing. Okay. Blank. New research suggests that this delicious snack may be linked to depression. 好，他说空格新的研究表示这种美味的点心可能与忧郁症有关。哦，好，先补充一下 ，research 可以当名词或动词表示研究调查，加了 er researcher 就是研究员调查员。然后呢 ，depression 是忧郁、忧郁症或是沮丧、消沉。那你还可以用它的形容词 depressed 来描述是沮丧、意志消沉的。好，那这边考我们副词，我们就来看选项喽。Our options are A, indeed， 确实，的确，或是实际上。B, however， 然而，但是。C, moreover， 再者，此外。D, therefore， 因此，所以。好，那前一句有提到说薯条令人难以抗拒，那这个空格后面又提到说新研究表示这种美味点心可能跟忧郁症有关哎，所以我们应该要填入带有相对或是对照意味的副词，最适合答案是 B。However， 然而但是。So the correct sentence would be However, new research suggests that this delicious snack may be linked to depression. I guess it has to do with your brain, right? I mean, when you eat some fatty foods that make make you drowsy, sleepy, and then affect your mood, perhaps. Perhaps, but when we go,、uh, I will add to this a little bit later. Oh, let's, let's continue first. 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 Let's Negative emotions. 好，他说研究人员发现吃大量炸物的人比较容易空格负面情绪。这考我们片语动词。那我们来看选项。Our options are A. Get over. 从什么中恢复过来，可能是不愉快的经验啊，疾病或是难题，或是将什么忘怀的意思。B. Break into. 它表示突然开始做某事，或是强行进入、闯入某个地方。C suffer from 好，它可以表达罹患，像是罹患某个疾病啊、症状，或是受什么所苦。And D provide for 这表示为什么什么做准备，为某人来提供生活所需。好，那前一句有提到说这种美味点心可能跟忧郁症有关，我们再偷看下一句。他有说到这个详细研究内容，就是说常吃炸物的人比较容易感到焦虑、沮丧。那我们就可以推测啦，是要表达说研究人员发现吃大量炸物的人比较容易患有负面情绪。最适合答案是 C， suffer from。所以我们就说 suffer from something， 罹患什么什么。And the correct sentence would be: Researchers found that people who eat lots of fried food are more likely to suffer from negative emotions. Ah,、oh, okay. 老师，什么是 negative emotions? What does this word negative mean? Well, negative is just if someone were to be negative, it means that you're thinking about the bad qualities of something or somebody,、mm-hmm. and thinking that a bad Result will happen,、mm. or you can just say you're just not very hopeful. You're not、oh. very optimistic. Oh, 那所以 negative 它就是消极的、负面、否定的。相反的话就是 positive. Positive. I'm a positive person. <laughs> you are. 还有刚刚我们说 optimistic 是乐观的嘛？ Right. 那相反就是 pessimistic, Mystic, right? right? 悲观的。好，那我们来看看 negative 的例句哈。Okay. For example, negative thoughts can bring down your mood. 嗯，确实，这个负面情绪要好好消化，不然会让一直影响到你的心情哦。Yeah. Right. Okay. And then we read. In fact, they're twelve percent more likely to feel anxious and seven percent more likely to feel depressed 
than those who blank fried snacks. 好，他说，事实上，相较于空格吃油炸点心的人，他们有百分之十二更容易感到焦虑，且有百分之七更容易感到沮丧。Percent 就可以表达百分之几。那这边考我们动词。So our options are A. Protect. 保护。B. Deliver. 运送递送。C. Offer. 提供供给。D. Avoid. 避开，避免。好，这边的 they 指的应该就是前一句说的 people who eat lots of fried food， 吃大量炸物的人。那对照的群体应该就会是不太吃炸物的人嘛。所以语义上来看，最适合的是 D avoid。So those who avoid fried snacks 就可以表达避免吃油炸点心的人。And the correct sentence would be: In fact, they're twelve percent more likely to feel anxious and seven percent more likely to feel depressed. Than those who avoid fried snacks. Hmm. So you are more likely to feel depressed or anxious. I sometimes <laughs> do feel anxious, <laughs> but I never connected the two. So what does anxious mean? So anxious is an adjective. It means to feel afraid or nervous, especially about what may happen. 嗯，所以这个 anxious 就是指焦虑的啊，紧张不安的那种意思。So, for example,、okay. I always feel anxious before exams. Hmm. Or after you drink a lot of coffee, right? Oh yeah, that can make you start to feel. Well, that makes you feel <laughs> like that, and yeah, yeah. 轻飘飘的 <laughs> Right. <laughs> anyway, let's take a short break. Maybe I'll take a coffee break right okay, now. Okay, sounds good. <laughs> okay. The researchers collected their data by looking at the diets of more than 140,000 people over 11 years. During that time, most people who experienced depression also ate fried foods often. But don't put down the fries just yet. Another possibility is that many unhappy people simply prefer fried snacks, so fried foods may not necessarily be the cause of people's sadness. Nevertheless, eating large amounts of fried potatoes is proven to raise our blood sugar levels. What effect might this have on a person's mood? More research is still needed. Welcome back, everybody. So before the break, you might have forgotten. So let's do a little recap, okay? 重点复习一下 So researchers found that people who eat lots of fried foods are more likely to suffer from negative emotions、mm. than those who avoid fried snacks. So they're more likely to feel anxious or depressed, or depressed, right? Correct. So let's see how the researchers conducted this research. All right. Sure. So the researchers collected their data by looking at the diets of more than one hundred and forty thousand people over eleven years. Eleven、wow. years. That is a serious study. Yes, one hundred and forty thousand people over eleven years. Wow, more than a decade. They put a lot of effort into this. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So during that time,、uh, during that time, most people who experienced depression also ate fried foods often. Hmm. So there's this association between them. Yeah. Well, I would say this is correlation. Mm, correlation. Correlation. Not really. Doesn't sound like one thing is necessarily causing the other thing. It could be the opposite. So let me read on. Oh. But don't put down the fries <laughs> just yet. Oh, 就像老师刚刚说，这不一定是必然的因果关系。这个 A 导致 B， 他们可能是有一个相对相关， right. 也许吧。Yes. So let's see. Another possibility is that many unhappy people simply prefer fried snacks.、Mm. So fried foods may not necessarily be the of people's sadness. Right. So that was what I was going to say before the break. Is that in fact it could just be going in the other direction? Not that fried foods make you depressed or anxious, but people who suffer from anxiety or depression. Will want to feel the comfort of something fatty or fried, something、oh, like that. 有可能哦。Mm. 好，那我们来看看课文就讲到说，另一种可能性是，许多不快乐的人只是比较喜欢油炸点心，所以炸物未必是人们悲伤的空格。
。好，那这题是要考我们名词智慧。And our options are A. Example. 例子。B. Matter. 可以表达事情啊，事件或问题。C. Result. 就是结果。D. Cause. 原因或是起因。那课文前一段落就是在讲说，吃大量炸物的人比较容易患有负面情绪。这样听起来好像吃炸物就是导致负面情绪的原因。可是这边又提出另外一个可能性，就是许多不快乐的人只是比较喜欢油炸点心，可能就只是比较喜欢吃而已。<笑>好，炸物不一定是人们悲伤的原因啦。所以语义上来看，最适合是 D cause 原因起因。And the correct sentence would be another possibility is. That many unhappy people simply prefer fried snacks, so fried foods may not necessarily be the cause of people's sadness.、Mm. I've noticed when I don't sleep well, or yeah, I'm feeling like kind of down. But a lot of times when I don't sleep well the night before, I want heavy fried,、uh, oily foods. 哎，对我也会觉得好像熬夜啊，或者是太累的时候，就好像很想要吃一些 junk food， 对，垃圾食物， right? 或者是重口味的东西。Yeah, so maybe if you're depressed, it's kind of similar to that. You just want something to, I don't know. 所以不一定是吃炸物所以沮丧，有可能是因为沮丧所以来吃炸物。<笑> Perhaps. So continuing. Nevertheless. Eating large amounts of fried potatoes, blank, to raise our blood sugar levels. 好，他说，尽管如此，吃大量的油炸马铃薯被证实会提高我们的血糖值。那么 ，nevertheless 就是表达然而，尽管如此，这是个副词。那这边要考我们是动词 prove 的时态变化。Prove 就是证实、证明。So our options are A. Prove. B. Proved. C. Is proven. D have been proven. 好，它的这个题目句子主词是动名词片语 eating large amounts of fried potatoes， 吃大量的炸马铃薯。那动名词拿来当主词的话，要视为单数，后面配单数动词哦。而这是被证实的事实，所以用被动语态，然后时态用现在式。最适合的答案就是 C is proven， 可以表达被证实为点点点。And the correct sentence would be nevertheless. Eating large amounts of fried potatoes is proven to raise our blood sugar levels. So, what effect might this have on a person's mood? More research is still needed.、Mm. Yeah, I think this needs to be researched even further.、Oh. Even though it's such a long study, I still feel like I think personally. That it's really the other way around. People who are depressed are eating junk food, eating more fried foods, and I don't think it's the, the eating the fried foods is making you depressed. 对，虽然这个研究有长达这样十一年，可是你没有办法确定它真正的因果关系。Right, you just know there's two things. There's a correlation between these two things, but you don't know which way the arrow is pointing. 没错，不知道这个因果关系的那个方向到底是哪一个，对不对？好，那不管怎样，吃炸物是不太健康嘛。那就像一开始那个 Shane 老师讲的，他说吃东西要 in moderation， everything in moderation， 对，要有节制，要适量，这样就可以喽。Okay， so that's it for today. Yeah， we don't want too much， too much English. <laughs> It's <laughs> everything in moderation. Engl learning English in moderation might get you, give you depression. <laughs> All right. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Who doesn't love to eat French fries? The crispy outside and salty flavor make French fries hard to resist. However, new research suggests that this delicious snack may be linked to depression. Researchers found that people who eat lots of fried food are more likely to suffer from negative emotions. In fact, they're 12% more likely to feel anxious and 7% more likely to feel depressed than those who avoid fried snacks. The researchers collected their data by looking at the diets of more than 140,000 people over 11 years. During that time, most people who experienced depression also ate fried foods often. But don't put down the fries just yet. Another possibility is that many unhappy people simply prefer fried snacks, so fried foods may not necessarily be the cause of people's sadness. Nevertheless, eating large amounts of fried potatoes is proven to raise our blood sugar levels. 
What effect might this have on a person's mood? More research is still needed. Hi everyone! Today we will be going to Xinju and learn some interesting facts about the Hakka culture. Now we'll be visiting the Hakka cultural buildings and the areas nearby. If you're really interested in the culture, you can also check out the story house that provides a guided tour. And after visiting all the buildings, there's also a cool ecological forest park that you can check out. So let's go into today's lesson. Let's start from Leo Jia Senior High School and visit the neighboring Hakka cultural buildings and areas. First, we come to the new Tile House Hakka Cultural District. During the Qing Dynasty, many people came to Taiwan to grow crops on the land and ended up settling there. Later, they built the Zhongxiao Shrine and called it New Tile House. This area became the first Hakka Culture Conservation Zone in Taiwan. It contains ecological education parks full of rice fields and water canals. The zone also has many unique buildings. If you want to learn more about Hakka culture, you can go to the Xinhua Wu Story House and take a guided tour. Next, we come to the Hakka Cultural Park of Xiaotong University. The Lin family developed the land and built the foundation for their family business here. There are several well-known buildings here. They built Wenli Hall to celebrate their offspring who passed the imperial examination. It is a Si Her Yuan, which serves as the council chamber of the Lin family. In addition, Da Fudi used to be an ancestral hall. The name was later changed to Da Fudi, because the Lin family actively supported local public welfare and greatly helped the Qin dynasty. There is another ancestral hall in the park to worship the ancestors of the Lin family, Mazu and Imin. It is the Lin's ancestral temple. Both of these historical buildings show that the Hakka group truly respects and worships their ancestors, so these places are surely worth seeing. After visiting many buildings in the area, let's take a look at the natural scenery. Dongxing Canal can be found in Shui Biento Ecological Forest Park. The development of water resources began as early as the Qianlong reign of the Qing dynasty, when mainland immigrants entered Liujia. Shui Biento is a special facility. It mainly transfers water to other canals. In recent years, the government has transformed Dongxing Canal to improve the overall ecological landscape, while highlighting the characteristics of this Hakka cultural asset. I hope you guys really enjoyed learning about the Hakka culture and enjoy the beautiful scenery that you can check out. Now this is all the time we have for today and we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!